One of the best parts of summer as a kid was hearing the ice cream truck jingle coming down the road. Between the 1930s and 1970s, it more than likely was a good humor ice cream truck, which was an icon of summertime joy for American youth. Good humor started in 1920 in Youngstown, Ohio, when confectioner Harry Burt created a chocolate coating that could stick and harden on ice cream. His daughter was the first to try it. It tasted great, but was too messy to eat. So Bert's son suggested freezing the chocolate-covered ice cream with sticks inside to create a handle, making the treat much less messy to eat. This was a success and resulted in the creation of the first ice cream bars. The good humor name came from the belief that a person's humor or temperament was related to the humor of the palate or sense of taste. Soon after the good humor bar was created, Burt outfitted a fleet of 12 street vending trucks with freezers and bells to sell his creation. The first set of bells actually came from his son's bobsled. After that, the ice cream bars were also sold from bicycles, shoulder boxes, three-wheelers, and push carts. After applying and waiting three years for a patent, Bert took a trip to Washington, D.C. in 1923. He brought with him a five-gallon pail of ice cream bars for the patent officials to sample. It worked, and his patent was granted. Harry Burt died in 1926, and a couple of years later his wife sold her stake in Good Humor to the Midland Food Products Company. By 1931, Good Humor Corporation had operations in Detroit and throughout the East Coast. The three biggest franchises, though, were in California, Oklahoma, and Maryland. Distributors also served fast-growing cities such as Dallas, Miami, Philadelphia, and Cleveland. Good Humor even managed to remain profitable during the Great Depression because it sold a product that virtually everyone could afford. After World War II, Good Humor ice cream trucks were a pillar of suburban neighborhoods serving ice cream treats.
By 1960, there were over 85 different treats. Good Humor expanded its lineup to include chocolate burst cones, chocolate butterscotch and strawberry sundaes, single-serve cups and apricot and honeydew, and more. In 1976, Good Humor decided to focus on selling in grocery stores. They sold their trucks, some of which were purchased by ice cream distributors, from $1,000 to $3,000 each. Generally, ice cream trucks have begun to fade out of existence. Many ice cream trucks today are independently operated. Occasionally, you may even spot one of the few remaining good humor ice cream trucks in your neighborhood.